VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. This is a desktop sharing system that allows you to remotely control another computer. VNC works by transmitting all of your keyboard and mouse movements from your thin client computer to the other, large client computer. A virtual network computing system is platform dependent. This means that the client working on one type of operating system can't connect to the VNC server that operates on a different type of operating system. There are many different types of clients and servers available for different GUI-based systems. In addition, a virtual network computing system is available for Java. Some of the VNC programs only work for the Windows operating system. VNC was originally developed by an Atant research team, but virtual network computing systems are extremely popular in handling business and personal uses. In order to use a virtual network computing system, you do not need much. All you need is a network TCP IP connection, a VNC server, and a VNC viewer in order to connect to the computer that is running the server. The VNC viewer can be any type of thin client. There are even programs available that allow you to access your computer directly from your mobile phone. There are several VNC servers available in the market you can install any of them. Such as Real VNC Ultra VNC Tight VNC .NET VNC Viewer My favorite is Real VNC. It is simple and very much compatible with every PC. Okay. We install it on my system and check whether it is working or not. You have to download it from the official site. I have already installed it. So, I do not need to install it again. Real VNC is available for every operating system. Once installation completes, you have to open the VNC server. And you have to reset your password. Once all done you have to install VNC Viewer in your mobile device. You can now access your system with your mobile device.
How easy is it not? Try and tell me in my comment section. If you have any queries and any opinion on my video, then rise your comment in my comment section.